Hey everybody, Adam from realworldworship.org here. And uh, another gear thoughts for you. Uh, this time I want to talk about the JHS VCR. Um, and as you can tell, my my uh, camera is flipping around the, uh, the letters, but you know, just in your head, fix it. It's all good. But the VCR, uh, you know, volume chorus reverb is uh, JHS's signature pedal uh, with Ryan Adams and uh, Paxam. Uh, and Robert Keeley helped with uh, designing the reverb. Uh, so it is a volume chorus and reverb pedal in one. You can turn them off individually with these switches and then uh, whatever you have selected on here, when you stomp the pedal, you get that sound, uh, three pedals in one. And the idea is you know, that um, Ryan Adams has a big pedal board. Uh, he uses uh, chorus and reverb both pretty heavily for that kind of 80s sound that he has. Uh, and the volume is to deal with any um, signal loss that you might have. Uh, so that's kind of where this comes from. Um, it's a really cool design, you know. I mean, if you have like, basically, if you're like me and you're from the nostalgia generation, and Stranger Things just like hits all the right spots for you, this pedal's design, if nothing else, is gonna set set it for you. Um, so that's this pedal's deal. What makes it magical? Honest truth. The most magical thing about this pedal is the reverb. It is, it is my favorite re reverb. I mean, there's really good reverbs out there. I was playing around with the uh, a Blue Sky the other day. Um, there's great, great reverb pedals. Uh, but but there's something really special about this one knob. It just sounds right. It doesn't get in the way. Uh, clean with gain with other effects. It it's just a really really well done. Um, kind of a darker hall style digital reverb. Uh, so good job, Robert Keeley. Hopefully he won't yell at me. Uh, so that's that's where it's really magical. Now it is also really cool to just be able to you know hit a button and boom, you've got like three pedals on at once. So that's that's nice, especially if you're using a smaller rig where you can, you can't have like a boss or a disaster area switching system. Very cool. Uh, drawbacks, of course, is that you can't hit the button and turn some of these on and off. You have to reach down and switch. Uh, I have seen guys modding them, especially to be able to turn the volume on and off. Um, I would probably want to be able to turn the chorus on and off. The other drawback is if you're thinking in kind of traditional signal chain uh, terms, if you wanted to go modulation, delay, reverb, you can't. Um, when I was running a different pedal board configuration, I, I would leave the chorus off and I would go um, boss super chorus delay pedal and then the reverb on here. It sounded great. But if you want to use the chorus on here with an effect that you would normally put in between, you can't. I suppose somebody could go in and mod uh, sort of an effects loop, but I haven't seen that yet. And it's already kind of an expensive pedal. That's the other drawback. It's a signature pedal. Anytime there is a signature pedal, doesn't matter the company. It doesn't if it's guitar amps bass guitar, effects pedals, if it's a signature model, it's always going to cost more than it should because that money's got to go in the artist's pocket for putting their name on it. So those are the drawbacks. How do I use it in worship? Okay, again, this is my favorite reverb. So if you're using reverb in worship uh, setting, this is awesome. Uh, there's also kind of a tension I have on my pedal board where I want two sounds. I want a very, you might call it vintage sound, um, you know, uh, you know, just maybe we call it a Tom Petty kind of sound. I just want a good uh, classic guitar sound for like rhythm playing for leads. I don't want anything super uh, crazy. But then there's also a little bit of a tension where I do want this sort of the Smiths, Ryan Adams, uh, sort of modern sound. Even, uh, you know, certain like newer Starflyer stuff. This has kind of got a, it's not quite new wave. It's not quite 80s, but the it's definitely a, a more modern sound goes really well with like the synthy stuff that Hillsong is doing that kind of thing um, and even other bands not Hillsong like uh, if you do beat out my vision by citizens and saints this pedal the chorus on this pedal would be great for that lead part um, so it's really nice on my I run a smaller pedal board these days like a pedal train junior it's really nice to be able to uh, have in one pedal that modern sound turn this off and then I can go with my more vintage sounding uh, stuff, you know. So to be able to use this as my, okay, boom, modern, you know, uh, 80s modern sound that's in right now, you know, the new Death Cab for Cutie record, Ryan Adams, 
a Hillsong, um, Citizen Saints. Boom, turn that off, and then I can go into more of that kind of Tom Petty Americana sound. So it's it's a nice um, it's a nice way to deal with that, especially on a smaller pedal board like I'm running a Pedal Train Junior. Um, and should you own one? Now that's a really good question. So these are what two hundred and seventy dollars, something like that. New, you can get them for less, but you're you're not going to find one of these even used for under like two ten, two fifteen. Um, that's a lot of money, especially if you're only using one of these sounds. I, I didn't really address the volume. The volume's a booster. Um, it sounds fantastic, but if that's all you're using it for, just go and buy like the, the JHS Prestige or the Mini Bomb, and, and you're good to go. You don't need this. The chorus, it's not my favorite chorus. It's a good sounding chorus. It's very usable, but I have a uh, uh, an analog 90s uh, Boss Super Chorus that I got for 80 bucks that I like a whole lot more. And I got a $30 DoD analog chorus from the 90s that sounds fantastic. Both of them are better than this one. The reverb's worth it. And, and here's why I would say that. There are guys who spend a lot of money on flints and big skies and other expensive reverbs, and they only use one sound. And so if you're paying you know anywhere from 200 to 270 for a killer sounding reverb that, oh, by the way, also has a volume boost and a chorus sound in it. To me, it's kind of worth it. It may not be for you, but for me, there's a lot of people who spend more, you know, they've got a blue sky and what are they doing? Well, I've got, I've got my uh, normal sound and my crazy ambient sound. So for two presets, you've just spent over $400. You know, whereas, yeah, for 200 something bucks, I think I paid 210 for this used. Uh, for 210, I have my favorite sounding reverb plus some options. So, should you own one? I think it's worth trying. I think if you're trying to get that kind of 80s sound, this is for you. I think if uh, if you're trying to figure out a solution on a smaller uh, pedal board setup, this is a great option. I don't think it's going to be for everybody. Um, but it might be for you, so give it a try. That's my gear thoughts. Check out realworldworship.org uh, for more articles and thoughts and things.